everybody, good morning. Welcome to uh, the Morning Point After, where we do a quick recap of the show. And Jason, who listens to the show every morning, asks questions, things that intrigued him about the, uh, the Morning Point. Things that happened on the radio this morning we then get asked about later. Right. I feel like I'm being called into the principal's office. This is like one of those weird, like, uh, what is it, the real world confessionals? That's yeah. what this feels like. I know, I feel like Nini on The Real Housewives. Hmm. You like it, though. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's your first question, Jim? All right, well, this morning on the Hollywood Report, you were talking about Blake Lively giving, yeah. giving birth at home. And you were a little freaked out about it. You said you wouldn't give birth at home. You want to tell why? No, oh, because that is the hospitals. That's why. <laughs> I mean, like, I get it. You are allowed to choose where mm -hmm. you want to give birth, and some people like giving birth in bathtubs or on beds. You just like 75 doctors being in the general vicinity, yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, like, I, here's what I like. I like epidurals, I like hospital gowns, and I like hospitals because they're there for a reason. <laughs> right. Especially when you're giving birth. I mean, like it's like my mom says, to each their own, mm -hmm. and my own would like to be in a hospital. Fair enough. I mean, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I just, the whole at-home birth, just what if something happens? You just want a giant needle in the back that numbs you before birth. <laughs> and then That's I want fair. a really big bill that I can't afford. <laughs> That's fair, right? <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Okay, now what's your question for Mike? All right, Mike, this morning you are talking about having a 10-year-old and that really bothering you. Yes. So mm -hmm. does it really bother you that you have a 10-year-old now? It makes me feel, I described it as mushy. It makes me feel mushy. I'm um, the biggest sucker when it comes to my girls. I have two girls, Marie and Claire, nine, now 10, and three. She's gonna be four this month as well. And um, I just turn into the biggest softie in the entire world when it comes to them. Like last night, I literally went up to my daughter and I hugged her for probably 25 straight minutes. I'm just sitting there holding, she's like, oh, Dad, that's awkward. Dad, that's creepy. Why? I was like, yeah, that's yeah it's too weird, long. it's that's weird. That's a long hug. It's weird, it's a long hug, but I was just thinking, and then I'm flashing back to, you mm -hmm. know, when she was one, when she was two, and I was like, this is the last time I'll be hugging you as a nine-year-old. All right, thanks, Dad. What did you get her for your birthday? Nothing. Well, I mean, I got her, we're gonna take her to Great Wolf Lodge, that's what she wants to do. I know, but what'd you get her to, like, open on her birthday? Like, like an open, like a here, yay! No, she wants to go to Great Wolf Lodge, you know, for the thing. That will be her birthday. She you can open your room key. She gets to take it. Yeah, exactly. We she wrapped your room key for you, Marie. That's a good idea, you right? Didn't get her any? Did you get her a cake? Yeah, of course. My wife made a cake. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just you know, and it's I feel very blessed and very lucky, and I have amazing children, as probably everybody thinks. If we're getting sappy, amazing. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. We're getting sappy. I love. I you, don't Marie. do sap. <laughs>